Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video today, and today we are doing our Notre Dame Central Michigan preview and prediction. So as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We're closing in on 1,250 subscribers, and that's our goal for the month of August. We're about 15 away, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. Also, make sure that you like this video. If you enjoy it, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. You guys have been fantastic. Uh, I got almost 2,000 views on my Navy video, 800 on my Jacksonville or my Tennessee State video, which was impressive in that uh, it was Tennessee State, and then almost over 4,000 views on my North Carolina State Notre Dame video. So you guys keep it up. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Uh, never miss another Notre Dame prediction video again. So. Let's go ahead and get into this video, but there is one other thing I forgot to mention. College Football Roundup, it is our podcast channel. Uh, hopefully, we will get out a podcast every single week. Uh, with college and high school, me and Lincoln do have uh, other obligations, mm -hmm. and last week was a little bit more difficult with not being able to do it until Tuesday, uh, so it kind of made it, pushed all the schedule back. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it today uh, and then get it out here either on Sunday or Monday. So let's go ahead and get into this preview. So here's the thing. Notre Dame had an impressive victory against the Wolf Pack, uh, winning 45-24. to 24. Uh, Looked pretty sharp all throughout the game. Uh, Sam Hartman, four touchdowns, only nine incompletions. Uh, did, did go 15-24, for 24, so not that many pass attempts. Um, really good day for Modric Estime. Really good day from the entire backfield. Uh, so... Overall, a good game. Uh, it took a little bit longer, uh, both in that the rain delay was two hours long, uh, and it took Notre Dame's offense a minute to kind of get used to all the exotic blitzes uh, that Tony Gibson did, which I will give him credit for, uh, that with the exotic blitzes, it did slow Notre Dame down and made it a little bit more of a competitive game for a little bit longer. But at the end of the day, uh, Notre Dame's talent wins out in that matchup. So... Now let's get into a little bit of Central Michigan uh, throughout the season. Uh, Central Michigan did start off with a week one loss to Michigan State. Not surprising there. Uh, Michigan State, not a great team, but not a they're a they're a power five team. There's no doubt about that. Um, Central Michigan has been led uh, by Burt Emanuel Jr., uh, their quarterback as a dual threat, uh, had 41 yards. Uh, in the Michigan State game and had over 100 yards in this most recent matchup against New Hampshire. And here's the thing. Central Michigan is bad. They're worse than um, they're, they're worse than Navy was in week one. So I expect nothing less than a total beatdown when it comes to this game. Uh, when you're looking at Notre Dame, I expect kind of a similar thing to what happened uh, in the Navy game or in the Tennessee State game. I'd like to see Sam Hartman out by halftime. Uh, when you're looking at this game, I think Sam Hartman, get a couple of passes in, play a little bit, get ready for Ohio State, uh, maybe kind of add a little bit. If you want to give him a few extra snaps in order to get ready for Ohio State, that's fine. But here's the thing, when it comes down to it, I want that. I want Steve Angeli to get some more snaps. I'd like Kenny Minchie to get a few more snaps. Uh, I'd like some backup offensive linemen to get snaps. Uh, I like the receiver. The receivers. I don't care who's out there. I don't care if it's Great House or Thomas or Rico Flores or uh, whoever. It doesn't really matter because I think all of them are young enough that none of them have like five years of experience. Um, Unfortunately, Matt Salerno, who did kind of have that five years of experience, did uh, get hurt in the Tennessee State game, and I believe it was an ACL tear, so I do think he's out for the remainder of the season. Um, but really, there's nobody on Notre Dame's roster that has just a exponential amount of experience and is, can't, doesn't need any use to play or stuff like that. All the guys, <clears throat> freshmen like Rico Flores and Jaden Greyhouse, uh, or even sophomores like Jaden Thomas and stuff like that. Um, you definitely could use some reps. Uh, so going into this game, what I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for some more pass rush. Uh, the pass rush has been okay. It's not been bad. Um, it's been solid. There's been some issues. Um, and I think that with a bird Emanuel, uh, you got to get after him. You got to keep him contained. This is the big thing. I would like to see some pass rush. But more than that, I'd like to see contain. Um, like I, I want him down on the ground, but I don't want him down on the ground after he broke a 15-yard run uh, because he definitely has the capability of doing such. Um, 
So I'd like to see contain uh, definitely uh, in the importanceness of this. Like it, Bert had a 66-yard uh, touchdown run to kick off the game last week. Um, so are against New Hampshire. Uh, so I just don't. I don't want to see all of these um, just massive plays where they're just getting explosive plays uh, like that. I want to be able to see. A contain from the linebackers like uh, Maris Lufau and J.D. Bertrand and stuff like that. I want contain. I don't care if you put Jalen Sneed on him as a spy. That's fine, but I want to be able to have contain. But I do want to see some pass rush. I want to be able to see them improving because they've, they've been okay, but not fantastic, uh, especially when you play better offensive lines. Um and even though Clemson has struggled this season, their offensive line is actually going to probably be pretty good. They played well against Duke, uh, and I expect them to be pretty good throughout the season. Uh, so when you play Clemson, I, I want to see some more pass rush. Uh, the run stopping has been decent. It's not been bad. Uh, <clears throat> other thing that I would like to see here um, is I'd like to con- see um, I'd like to see just a lot of pass catching going all around. I kind of said it um, in a little bit of the intro. I'd like to see Notre Dame getting its playmakers involved. Uh, I'd like to see uh, good stuff from Jaden Greyhouse, good stuff from uh, Holton Stays had a good game against NC State, so I'd like to see more from Holton Stays. I know he's a tight end, but he is a more of a pass catching tight end than he is a blocking. So I'd like to see some more from Holton Stays, no doubt about that. Um, but really, when it comes down to it, I'd also like to see um, Notre Dame take advantage of this weak uh, Chippewa secondary uh, that gave up almost 500 passing yards uh, to New Hampshire. So I really think um, it may have even been over 500. No, it was, I think it's just short. It's like 493. Um, but I'd like to see them be able to take advantage of that. I'd like to see Angeli get some deep throws down the field. I'd just like to kind of see improvement all across the line. Uh, but at the end of the day, you got to go week by week. Uh, you can't look ahead too much. But at the end of the day, next week, or not this week, yeah, next week, I guess, would be what you could call it. You play Ohio State. I want you to be ready for this game. Uh, that should be the priority. You should beat Central Michigan. You should beat them easily. There should be no doubt about that. But at the end of the day, you do need to get ready for Ohio State because that is the game that's going to mean a lot in a couple of weeks. So. Now into the prediction portion. Uh, obviously, there wasn't a lot to talk about when it came to these two teams. Um, but when it comes down to it, I expect a Notre Dame victory. I'm going 56-13. to I'm going 56-13. I think Notre Dame gets a lot of points on the board. I think they kind of blow them out. I think they look good doing it. Uh, so I think that overall should be a good matchup for the Irish. Uh, again, not a lot to say because... Central Michigan, they struggled against the FCS team in New Hampshire. and It isn't the same New Hampshire team from about five, six years ago when they were making uh, FCS semifinals and stuff like that. It's just not the same team. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Hit two videos down below in the subscribe button up here. And as always, have a great day. Bye, guys.